What is up, girl bosses? Oh, I look handsome. Uh, we have a new Veil of Maya single. This is Mother, part four off of their upcoming album, Mother. Uh, I don't know what happened to uh, the first three parts, so if someone can find those, let me know. Uh, but yeah, this album's gonna be out May 12th. Very excited for it. Same day Cattle Decapitation drops and Left to Suffer. So that'll be a very big day. Very excited for it. Uh, but from uh, what we've been hearing from Veil of Maya, has been pretty chaotic. Pretty fun, pretty pretty nuanced. So I'm excited to see what they do here. Uh, that being said, I say we get into it. Before we get into it, really appreciate it. if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. It's free. Helps me out a ton. Helps you find new music. Also, I released an EP two weeks ago ish now under my project Sun Scourge. Uh, this EP is called Wraith Features. Devin from Worm Shepherd, uh, Johnny from Carcosa, and Blake Mullins of Disembodied Tyrant. So go check it out. You could also find that in all my social media links and stuff below. Also check those out. Follow me on social media. I post other stuff. Uh, let's do it. That's enough self promo. Stranger Things. Oh, they're continuing the lore of the videos. I like that synthwave vibe. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was a smooth transition from a very, like, different genre. <laughs> That's creative, that back and forth between uh, Synthwave and Deathcore. <laughs> Key chorus. This reminds me of something, but I can't place it. Oh, the baby. Very subtle, like spooky ambience. This is strange. Is that, a, that that's like a prog course, right? I feel like I've heard this on the last like periphery album. We have big periphery.
Bale of Dream Theater. Oh no, miscarriage. This is such a unique song. Very experimental. Oh, there's Spencer. Oh, we heard this, uh, like, riff in the opening. That was crazy. I feel like all the singles we've heard have had, like, uh, they, they've been fairly chaotic, but this one had a lot of contrast with, like, those synthwave elements, uh, you know, synthwave to deathcore, like, pure synthwave, pure deathcore, very metalcore choruses, but they all flowed into each other super well, I feel like, structure-wise. Pristine. This might be my favorite of the singles, just because like I feel like that contrast gives you a break uh, from the chaos of those deathcore sections. They're a little hard to follow uh, for me, and that's something I feel like I've um, I I've felt that for all the singles we've heard, and I've noticed like in in my ranking of the singles we've heard, uh, those ones that have a chorus or at least something to break up the chaos, they sit well with me. I feel like I want to return to them more. So Mother, I like that. Red Fur, I like that. Red Fur also had a very metalcore chorus. Uh, you know, not a very metalcore chorus, like the Veil of Maya brand of metalcore. But it's cool, I guess, like, listening to this one, hearing those prog elements that are sort of reminiscent of Periphery, which I haven't listened to much of, uh, Dream Theater, which I've listened to a little bit of. It's, it's it's very interesting to see. I don't know what you would call this, like, progressive metalcore, but then uh, their core side sort of uh, enters, like, deathcore territory. It's, like, quite an interesting fusion, especially with the synthwave elements. I think that's fantastic. Uh, currently, or deathcore at least, has been taking sort of a lot of black metal influence, but I do feel like metalcore is taking a lot more of like that sort of synthiness, like uh, you see it in uh, the German, the German metalcore, uh, and even the German deathcore bands have been taking a lot from like that sort of like synthwave or like electronic uh, music genre. So, you know, Electric Callboy, they do that shit all the time. Um, we butter the bread with butter. They also do it in a similar but different way. That's like the German manifestation of it. Uh, North Lane. Too. It, it is interesting to see um, how the different cores are developing. Yeah, with deathcore, it's a it's big on the black end or the black metal influence. With metalcore, there seems to be a, a much bigger emphasis on synthwave and uh, electronic influence. Though that isn't entirely exclusive to metalcore. It is uh, the trend that I enjoy the most in metalcore. I'm gonna be honest. I'm a big synthwave guy. Uh, I, I like uh, what's what's his name, Dan Terminus, and Perturbator. He's the goat. He's the goat. Uh, but this has been some really cool stuff. I feel like each single brings something new. Uh, the chaos can be a little off-putting for me, but I feel like, you know, it's like that level of unpredictability. Uh, but, you know, as long as they, like, level it out, I feel like those songs sit really well with me. And even the ones that don't uh, level out that chaos or balance it with another element, I still feel like, you know, there's a lot of, like, replayability just because it's such a, lin a linear structure that, like, it it's not very predictable. If at all. So, you know, each time you listen to it, it's kind of refreshing. So I do see some some value, some merit in that. But I'm curious what you guys think of this track. For me, it's my favorite single. I think it had a lot of contrast. Uh, and with each element that it brought together, those elements on their own were executed super well. Like like these synthwave elements in this song, they hold on their own, uh, which, is, which is pretty impressive. I feel like, you know, sometimes bands take in outer influences from outside of their expertise. You're, you're, you're not going to nail it 100%, but I feel like they, they nailed it, which is really, like, phenomenal. It's, it's tough to do. It's, like, tough enough to master one genre, uh, but to master, like, two, three genres and then blend them, that's a monumental achievement. But curious what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I love you.